So there's actually several databases out there that can manage genotyping data. Seen cassava base had some genotyping data capabilities. There's Dataverse, Germinate's another good one. GDMS is within the BMS database, but they all tend to handle uh, lower volumes of genotyping data and not the huge scale of genomics data that we can handle. And we can handle not just the huge scales of genomics data, but also your, you know, one sample, one or two samples by 10 SSR markers as well. And we can handle any genotyping technology, whether it's sequencing, SSR data, something run on a gel, we can manage that data within our system. And we can also, we're not just talking about depositing data into a data set and extracting it. You can search for a sample or for a marker across all of your data in the genotyping system. So I'm going to talk a bit about technologies, just to say, you know, we started out this project just testing different open source databases. Uh, this shows uh, four different technologies, MonadaDB, HDF5, MariaDB, Postgres, and the time that it takes to load a data set. And uh, this has been updated since this time. Uh, we have a few other technologies we've tested. But HDF5, time and time again, comes out as the best database methodology for being able to store genotyping data. So for our standard data set that we were testing, uh, 5,000 5, samples, 32 million markers, it can load in under an hour, which might seem like a long time, but you know, you compare it to the other um, systems and it's really the fastest one out there. And then just, this just shows the extract. Um, this is time in minutes and then uh, data sets of increasing size across the bottom there. Um, MonadaDB just stopped working at a certain point. Postgres actually did pretty well in this scenario, but HDF5 in every scenario we've looked at is the fastest way you can extract your data as well.